question authority. Because if you don't question authority, authority will walk all over you. I was arrested. The, the Patea police say I wasn't, but to me, when you're, when you're taken against your will to a police station in hell, that's arrest. You know, what else is it? I've been at the gym, I come home and uh, security had run the police. These four guys rocked up in plain clothes and they come barging into my apartment. And I'm like, hey, who the fuck are you? And they, they identified themselves as special police. I said, where's your search warrant? No one, no one talked to me. Where's your search warrant? No one talked to me. Where's your fucking search warrant? And then I grabbed one of the motherfuckers. I grabbed one of them. You're, you're fucking out of here. Next thing, someone in the bedroom, oh, hey, 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 and here's this pink bag, this pink plastic bag. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And it's, it's, a, it's a bag full of drugs. And that's when, that's when I knew, I knew, it, it just all gelled together then, that I was in the middle of a classic Patea mafia police extortion robbery. There's a saying, you never fuck a fucker because he will come back and fuck you. Game plan for tonight. We head down to the Patea police station, balls to the wall, we're going to have some entertainment. We're going to have some fun. Fucking scum. Where's my gold? Where's my gold? Where's my money? Where is my gold? Where is my money? Fucking scum. You come into my fucking house and you plant drugs in my house and you rob me and you try to destroy my, destroy my credibility with your fucking dirty fucking crack pipes? Good God. If I was going to take drugs, it'd be something a bit fucking better than dirty rotten crack. You know, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to be smoking crack. You know, if I'm going to do something, it'll be, it'll be a decent high-end drug, not crack. Where's my gold? Where is my money? Please put drugs in my in my apartment. You know, fucking mafia police, mafia police, Patea. You know we're gonna we're gonna go in there. We we're gonna fucking rattle their cage, rattle their cage, because that's what they do to us, and they're, they're not used to it happening. I believe everyone will run and hide. Come on, come inside. A camera in their face is a pretty scary thing. They don't want to be exposed. See, where are the police now? Where are they all now? No one wants to talk to me now. Fucking run and hide. Run and hide. My first experience with the, uh, with the Thailand justice system, this is a, this is a pretty funny one. I, uh, I, was, I was banging this little whore and uh, she fucking stole my camera. She stole my camera. And I'm like, fuck, I like that camera, you know? Plus I had some good pictures on it. So I'm at Central Festival one night and I'm, I'm with another mate from Australia. <laughs> Fucking no wonder no one visits me anymore. So here's this little whore. <laughs> here's this fucking little whore that's stolen my camera. And I go up to her and say, fuck you, bitch, you're coming with me. And I grab her by the arm and, and she goes, where are we going? I say, we're going to the police station. And this thing, fucking, she throws a big bucket of fucking ice cream on my head. I'm like, fuck you. And I, then I start pulling her. This is the middle of Central Festival. You know, this is a five-star shopping complex. And this little whore takes off her fucking high heel and starts fucking whacking me on the head with it. Fuck you, bitch. So I put her in a sleeper hole. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to do. So I'm just, you know, I'm just lightly, I've lightly got her in a fucking sleeper hole and I can feel her going limp. And I know she's not out. I know she's not out. So I just put her down. She's still conscious. You know, I've, I've choked out enough people to know that she's not fucking out. And then she starts convulting on the fucking floor. And here's me. She's doing the fucking dead chicken on the floor. And uh, next thing, there's a fucking million people around me. This little cunt, there's nothing wrong with her. There's nothing fucking wrong with her. And uh, the end result was I never got my cat camera back. I ended up fucking paying 20,000 baht in medical fees. I paid another fucking 20,000 baht in uh, bribes to the police. And, and that, was my, uh, that was my experience with the Thai police. We're going to send this out to the world so people will know that you can stand up to these guys. You can, because they're bullies with a badge. Bullies with a badge, that's all they are. Go inside, go inside. No, I go where I want. I go where I want. No, no. 
I stand here. If you show you're not scared, then they have nothing. Because they work on fear. They can, they can smell your fear. Yeah. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! I fucking kill you! You fucking piece of shit! Shit! No fucking balls! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hit me! Hit me! Come on! Hit me! Come on! Yeah! No fucking balls! Just me! One man! No fucking balls! Shit! Why did you do this? Why did you plant drugs in my apartment? Why haven't I been allowed to give a statement? Why the fuck wasn't the research warrant? You know, why was I held for two hours and then released? Where did these cops go? They disappeared, they completely disappeared. The drugs disappeared, everything disappeared, everything just vanished, everything is just so stupid. Most people don't have 100,000 followers on Facebook watching their back, but I do. I'm in a, I'm in a unique position. I have 100,000 people who check in every day to make sure that Hey, what's he up to? What's he up to? Have they fucking killed him yet? You know, have they put a bullet in his head? Have they locked him up? And you'll know. You'll know because if I'm not online, you'll know something's happened to me. Come on, you cunt! Come on! Come on, fuck you! I'll fucking kill the whole lot of you cunts! You fucking pieces of shit! I remember one time they, they, they put me in the cells and I had all my gold on. And uh, they said, oh, we, we can't put you in the cells wearing all your gold. And I said, why not? And they said, oh, the, the Thai men will take your gold. And I'm like, like, fuck, they will. <laughs> and they put me in the cells. And I stayed in the cell for like four days wearing all my fucking gold. You know, I slept, I, I slept light. You know, I'm, I'm like, I, I got it. Well, I wasn't going to give it to the police. I wasn't going to fucking give it to the police. I'd rather take my chances in the, uh, so I, I think I'm the, the first man in history who's ever, who's ever slept in the, in the, in the Thai cells down there for, uh, th for three or four days with his gold on. And you know, I, they, they, they talk, they well, we're going to take your gold when, when, when you're asleep. I, I say, well, you better be fucking good. You better be good. Cause I'll crush your head into the fucking wall if I wake up and you're trying to, uh, you're trying to take my necklace off me. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I, I know the game. I, I can't be intimidated. You can't fucking intimidate me. You want to put drug in my bag? I won't look. Put some drug in. Put some drug in my bag. And then one million, two million, three million baht. You want to put some drug in my bag? Put some yaba in my bag. Put some ice in my bag. Then maybe one million, two million, three million. Yeah? No? Hey, everyone quiet now, eh? Everyone fucking quiet. If I pack up and leave, like a little pussy, who's gonna do this? Who's gonna carry on this fight? Fucking. I reckon wait till next. Well, we'll just wait around for a while. Nothing else to do. It was suppressed. I seen them. I seen them at the police station. I seen the police telling the, the media at the police station, no, 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 no. Don't film, don't film. Finally, hey, finally they're taking fucking photos of me. Finally they're taking photos. I'll tell you how it works in Thailand. If you get caught for a crime, the police will get you to commit more crimes to redeem the sins of your first crime. The job on my apartment was, was amateur. This guy was not a professional thief. I've got Rolex watches, I've got, I've got gold, I've got it all, all over the place, but he basically, he was on a job, he was on a job, he was following instructions. I could tell straight away, you know, I've done enough of this shit to know uh, when, someone's, when someone's panicking. He went straight for the cash box. He'd done what he was instructed to do, and he got out of there. He would have gone and handed that to them, and they would have said, where's the rest? You know, where's the watches? Where's, where's the rest of the gold? Where's the rest of the money? And that's why they came back in. This was their chance. This was their only chance to get inside my apartment, and they took it. And it was their undoing. That was their undoing, because them coming in just proved to me that they were the ones that orchestrated the whole thing in the first place. Justice is not justice here. Justice is money. Justice is how much money can we get. You end up working for the police. Once you sell your soul to these guys, they own your soul. I received a phone call from a police officer today that I knew. I seen his number come up on my phone. I thought, oh, fuck. And he said to me that your persistence is making it hard for all of us. And that's exactly what I wanted to hear, that my persistence is making it hard for all the police. You know those cunts took my gold. You fucking know they took my gold. I don't fucking talk to me. 
They, they thought, oh yeah, we'll put the drugs in his apartment, he'll just shut up, he'll just shut up, we'll, we'll go melt his gold down, we'll sell it off and, you know, we'll have a good old party and buy a heap of Thai whiskey and, you know, sit around and have a good laugh. Where's it going to stop? And when people start getting killed, well, hey, they are starting getting killed. They are starting to get killed, you know? There's so, so many mysterious deaths in Padaya, and most of them are ruled down to suicide. But we know they're not. They, they, they're cover-ups. Maybe they'll kick me out, but I won't leave because I'm not going to give up on this fight. You know, I've got, my, I've got my street kids, I've got my animals, I've got too much to keep me here. If I can just encourage people to grow a set of balls and stand up against these motherfuckers, then, then my job is done, you know? Fucking put me in jail. Put my hands out. Put me in fucking jail now. Come on. Put me, I fucking dare you. I dare you to put me in jail.